Good evening, everyone. Happy new release day. We've been super busy today. We've got 2019 Panini Donners Optic Baseball 12 box. Pick your team one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks who pick their teams straight up. Appreciate that. Now, there are uh, X's right there. Those teams were not picked up straight up, so we put them into a little team random right here. A 10 spot team random where everyone's guaranteed a team. That's nice. Now, some teams might be way over $35.99. Some teams may be right at $35.99. Some teams, obviously, are going to be below $35.99. But you got a shot. Got a shot at some of the pricier teams up there. All right. So, big thanks to all of these folks. At least you guaranteed a team, though. And let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Two and a two. Four times. Four the hard way. So, we're just randomizing your names, not the teams. Once again, two and a two. Four the hard way. One. Good luck, everybody. Two, three, and fourth and final time. And there you go. Congrats to Don. All the way down to Chris. Don has, uh, I believe, the priciest teams on the top usually. So there you go, Don. So you have the Braves. And I'll put the little symbol next to your name so you know you got that in one of these randoms. Don with the Braves. Clay with the Mariners. Kevin with the Red Sox. Trey with the O's. A lot of hot box in the stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It's really good. We got one more coming up after this, too. Mark Matson with the Tribe. Yeah, I suppose you could trade in these team randoms, but generally, most people don't. Unless they have two spots and they got the lower end teams, they're on the bottom of the list, they want to trade the two for the, the top team or something like that. I've seen that happen once, but not super common. Paul Hutchins with um, the Nationals, but the trade window is basically the time it takes me to do this. Giants for Ryan Redman. Clay with the Pirates. And Chris with the Diamondbacks. Scored 19 runs today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, looks like trade window closed. Yeah, Nick is being a trooper, Rex. He's staying up late with us to help us break these hour-long breaks. And Rory saying with Nick's help, he has a better chance at a big hit. What, because I don't give you big hits? <laughs> that one of them I, don't... I saw was crazy. The triple threads, redemption. That's nice. All right, so you see the case right here. So once again, here is the official printout right here. So congrats to all who won spots. Good luck to everybody in this break. This is Pick Your Team 1. Let's see what we got. So while I'm doing this, you can see the Nick Cam above the Jaspies logo. So that's where Nick will be pack stacking and ripping these boxes. We'll probably shave a good amount of time off this break. All right, so we'll slide so you can see the top views right there. I'll get things started right here as well. So we're looking at, we got Vlad Guerrero Jr. on the cover this year. Four cards per pack, 20 packs per box, two autographs per box on average. And we're looking for hot boxes as well. There are, should be one or two parallel hot box. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's hot boxes featuring five autographs or 20 number parallels. Two? Two please? and two. Oh, two. Two of each. Two five autograph hot boxes and two 20 parallel hot boxes. At least that's what it was last year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, I read that this year. Because I remember they were in like the same position in the case yeah. every year. Or last year. I like Optic. It's I do too. Kind of like a Panini Chrome. Yeah. So it's a chromey contender kind of vibe. And there's prospects this year. There's Wander Franco. So you get a, a wide array of, uh, of stuff. Veterans. Go to groupbreakchecklist.com if you want to see a team checklist. We've just been too busy to, to, to study the checklist together because 
You guys have done the, the research already because these teams were flying off the shelves. Now, what, what what teams does everyone have, and what are you looking for in particular? I know Rory's looking for Keston Hira, who is on like a seven-game hitting streak. Is that an autograph? Yeah, that's an autograph. That's what that's what Rory is looking for. So any anything, Keston, who went to UC Irvine, which is such a random. I don't think of that as producing baseball talent like that. But flip coin opulence is on Friday along with Elements Football. Pre-orders available now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Gilo, you got your Royals? Okay, okay. Salvi, maybe even a George Brett. Yeah, there are vet autos and Hall of Fame autos mixed in here too. Auto right on top. That's ah, Pete Rose. Nice. Is that on? That's on, on card. card. Ooh, that's a nice one. Pete Rose for the Reds. That's gonna go to Jonathan Spears. And we'll do an auto autograph recap. We'll do a hit recap at the, the end. Tops. There's Sal Perez to seventy-five, and we'll sleeve those a little bit later. There's. Uh, Jose Urena to 199, Pink Velocity, Andrew Heaney to 75. Yeah, it feels like a parallel hot box, yeah, right? It is. Cranky to 50. There's Jake Cave to 75. No better. Wilson Ramos to 99. There's Eddie Rosario. There's Reese McGuire for the Blue Jays to 125. There's Yadier Molina to 125. Nick Castellanos to 50. Yeah, the gold parallel hot boxes. I think they're one per. Is it gold border? Yeah. Yeah. Stock is to 125. Sean Reed Foley refractor. Miguel Cabrera to, sorry, I didn't really focus there. 89, 9 out of 99. What's this here? Peak performer. That's pretty cool. We got a mountain in the background there. I get it. There's Ty France to 50. Brian Peoples looking, uh, looking for Fernando Tatis. He's got the Padres in this one. Good luck, man. Kyle Tucker, autograph. On card auto. Kyle Tucker. That's EA with the Astros. EA on the board early. Kind of like 21 out of 50. Too. Yeah, I, I dig it. There's Trevor Story, Pink Velocity to 199. And like I said, we'll, we'll sleeve and top load all of these parallels before they go out, of course, just in the interest of time. We're breezing through these. Nice. Rex with a no-team spot. You, you're hitting left and right with that no-team <laughs> spot, Rex. Non yeah, the non the non on base, 7 out of 60. There you go, EA, another parallel going out to you. I think there's, I feel like there's a card in the back. There is. It's Framber Valdez, also for the Astros, to 99. Definitely a parallel hotbox. we got a nice stack of these already. we got Edwin Encarnacion to 125. we got Corbin Burns to 60. Carlos Rodon for the White Sox to 35. There's Nelson Cruz to 60. There's Mike Fultonevich, tricolor to 150. This is new this year, I think. Look at that, that's pretty cool. The red, white, and blue. Miguel Andujar. Oh, that's, uh, look at that, right there. 150th anniversary, I guess there, that's this parallel for that. What, America? That's more than 150 years, I think. Yeah, is it the 150th anniversary of, for America? No. That, not for Donruss. Oh, the flag? I don't know. Of the flag? No, the, the flag. That was wild. I mean, that was more than 150 years ago. The flag started when we started. Yeah, so That's like 200 plus years, yeah. yeah. 
What is this the 150th anniversary of? Baseball? Baseball. That's what it is. Because all the MLB... It also one- feels like it was more than 150 years ago, too. MLB, because the, the, they had the MLB 150 patches uh, at all, yeah, this, yeah. all the jerseys. There's Carrasco. A little bit of leukemia for Carrasco. Get well soon. Yeah, baseball, Roy. We figured it out. Yeah. We're like, we're like, what? Stupid. Not the United States. They meant to put like 250. There's Taylor Hearn. And that's, we've got a print on the background. Scooter Jeanette to 76. Can you see? Oh, it says we the people on the back. It's so, like 1776. Yeah, and it's numbered to 76. Very patriotic this year. Ooh, yeah. Very, very. yeah. Panini. Panini. I like it. All right, all right, I like it. Screw you, Nike. That's what Corbin, I know, right? <laughs> Corbin Burns, rated rookie autograph from Rory. Rory on the board. There's Jose Martinez to 199. So each stack is a box? Yep. Okay, yeah, each stack should be a box. So we're on box two already. So there's Rafael Devers tonight. A lot of parallels so far. Colby Allard for the Braves to 35. Like a 30 break. Quick. Jeff McNeil. Maybe we have, do have time for Argonauts Rex. Jeff McNeil for the Mets. Jeremy 33 with the Metropolitans. Are you numbered? Not numbered. Are these all on card so far? Yeah, I think most of them are on card. I feel, like there, was, there, I feel like there were more stickers last year. Yeah, I think they really... Pushed it yeah, good. Good job, Panini. Because almost all of Topps' stuff is on card, so maybe yeah. they're just stepping up their their auto game. I dig yeah. it. See? It's good competition. There's Trey Mancini to 99. Orioles. There's another We the People. Oh, you can see it in script right here in the top corner once you get a focus. There you go. We the People. Did everyone have to memorize that when they were in school? <laughs> the preamble. There's Jeff Stephen Douglas. Jeff having a crazy year too. He might it's win a like, batting. What might win the NL like batting title? Three forty. Jesus Aguilar. I think he's like twenty seven. To one twenty five. Yeah, he's a little bit older. Mitch Haniger to one fifty. Harrison Bader. We got the sparkle in the background to one twenty five. And Sean Reed Foley. All right, we're cruising, folks. Mm, parallels, you gotta live over here. All right, next guy right here. TMZ. Yeah, I've got. I guess FS1 has TMZ Sports. Yeah. All right, so we'll see Something what else happens. going on this yeah. year, time of year. Let's, let's see what kind of wackiness is Angels happening. Are in this down sports ten world. runs. Oh. Are they really? Oh. Should have went with the Astros man. Are the Angels going to make any deals this year? Like what? I don't know. What do they need? Hit starting pitching? Yeah. Pitching. There's, call, there's a CNL Perez, another Astro for EA. You know what they need? They could use a Trevor Bauer. Yeah. Kluber at the top of that rotation. They got some, Their farm system isn't super... Yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. I think it's like 11th ranked now. But, but I mean, they're not. But like, really Indians are gonna be like Joe Adele. Yeah, they're, they're like, like you're gonna be like F you, you know? That'd like, be stupid if yeah. they did. Adele's like Stephen like, Duggar. He's gonna be a killer next year. There'll be Trout, Upton. Is Adele gonna play next year? Oh yeah, Trout, because Calhoun's gone. Oh right, right, right. Signed him. As long as he doesn't get hurt. Trout, Calhoun, or Trout. Adele and Upton is going to be sick. Otani, DH. There's Jordan Alvarez. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Rated prospect autograph for EA and the Astros. He's been killing it too. There you go. Jordan Alvarez has, yes. He sells really well too. There's Paxson. This is a different little parallel. Little highlights on the baseball there. Oh, yeah. Featuring his no-no. That'll ship. That's an insert. All the short prints will ship too. 
Carlos Carrasco. I think this is what Rory was talking about, that twilight sort of look right there at 125. Starting pitching, yeah, that's what the Angels need. Yeah. The Angels can get that squared away. Pitching too. But I feel like everybody needs that. Yeah, Dodgers need it. Everyone needs yeah. it. And everyone who has it doesn't want to give it up. They, they want everything. They want so much. Yeah. This is Action All-Stars. Aaron Judge. Pink Velocity, Corbin Martin to 199 for... The Strohs. But Matt Tice is playing now. He's yeah, I saw him in action too. Nice Austin Riley. Rated prospect autograph for the Braves. That was Don Rab. What is that? Looks like a hair. It looks like a little bit of plastic from the... Uh, yeah, for when they cut it, it looks like, you know, when they get the little corkscrew thing. A nice case. There you go. Jeez. Austin Riley. Someone was asking earlier why the Braves were priced so high, and they only yeah, had. Um, so they only the person was saying I think they only had Riley and Soroka. They don't. Soroka's not in this set. Even if they just had Riley, they'd still that's be true. Yeah. Guy. But um, but there's like all the like Dale Murphy's yeah. in here, Toussaint is in here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of Braves autographs in here, not just those two. I feel like every team is pretty good. Cedric Mullins autograph for the Orioles. That's I mean, for Trey Bush. Like Twelve ninety nine and stuff. All the mid range teams are pretty good value. There's Yachty. And even the cheap teams, you get the twenty parallel hot boxes. Yep. You rack up the hot the parallels. Donner's optic base or basketball is where you start crushing with parallels too. Yeah. This is a good. This is a great product. Jake Cave to one ninety nine. Yeah, I think we'll do more tomorrow. Just to get into it today. And there you go. They kind of stir curve sound for it with Ginter. Yeah, I was surprised that Ginter went that fast today. I know. Jason looks, sounds like he's pulling a lot. Of yeah, stuff. a lot of fire too. The non-sports spot? Woo! Oh, Bobby Hall, Brett Hall do a lot of... Nobody wanted the non-sports spot. Nobody wanted that non-sports spot. Out of 60. What about Boston, Steve Olsen? I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't know they had that in there. I thought it was just a girl. Signature series, Chris Paddock, who I think almost had a no-no today. He went... He was no-hitting through... Through the eighth inning. Wow. The Padres never had a no hitter? Really? First, that's, the, that's what the headline seems to suggest. That goes to um, Brian Peoples and the Padres. So a great night to get Chris Paddock. You would think, don't the Padres have some decent pitching? Never, says Brian. Wow. It was a dual auto of Bobby Hill, Brett Hall, and Roy. Roy. Um, that's crazy, though. I they've thought been they, around for a while. Yeah, they've been around for a while. You would think. They they had Kevin Brown, I think. They had, uh, on, what's on, his on, name? On, James Shields? <laughs> well, they had, like, yeah. they had some, they've had some decent pitchers. Yeah. There's Dakota Hudson, Pink I Velocity. Pink Velocities, those are nice. I do, too. I feel like they've they they've had some some good pitching. Even a combined no hitter. Something, yeah. Griffin Canning to seventy five. Yeah, Jake like prime Jake TV was on was there too. You would have think he would have yeah, knocked Jake out Peavy, one. I forgot about him. Dom, no, this is the main site optic. If you look at your item description, scroll down a little bit. You should see the. The eBay channel and the time and place of that break. Do we already do that? Um, I think Jason's about to do it now. Oh, that's that's coming up next, Don. So check your item description, and you'll see the link. It's in the same building, in our new shop, and uh, 
but just on a different channel in a different studio. No worries, Dom. Good luck, man. Do they have a perfect game either? I guess I can hit. Yeah, that, that would count, yeah, I think. Top. San Diego Padres top 10 career top pitching Trevor leaders Hoffman. according to Trevor Hoffman's never had a <laughs> you think like you think, you think Eric Young. show would Chris have Young. gotten like uh, Chris Young was good Randy Jones. yeah what about Randy Jones what about Clay Kirby no you gotta you gotta think this is crazy who are the, who are the ERA leaders yeah Dave Dravecki Craig Lefferts Jake Peavy, maybe Andy even Andy Bennis. I feel like Andy Bennis could have knocked out like a random no hitter back in the day. Come on, Padres. And they've played in pretty spacious ballparks too, like kind of pitcher friendly parks. Oh, that's the Eagles underdog t shirt. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl 2017 <laughs> slash 18 season, everybody counted them out the media, the fans. We're never going to hear that anybody. ever. Everybody counted them out. Uh, Nick Foles stinks. He has no chance. They suck. They're going to lose to the Vikings. They're going to lose to the Falcons. They're going to lose to the Patriots. Thanks, Rory, for that. And, it's... and then they hoisted the Lombardi Trophy. Rory pulled the string on that. <laughs> Rory put the quarter in that machine. <laughs> there he goes. Eloy Jimenez, White Sox. Nice. Michael K with the Shy Sox. That's on you, Rory. <laughs> you should have known. There's Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. Stacy for the Blue Jays. Maybe we'll find his teammate in here, too. There's Daniel Ponce de Leon, uh, 75, he's having a good season. His teammate Danny Jansen. And, yeah, that's what Stacey's looking for, Danny Jansen. There's Bryce Harper. All right, next box. We're flying. Fly. We are flying through this, folks. Minutes. We're going to get this. It'll be 40 minutes, probably. Yeah. There's so Chance Adams to 99. Around like 10, 30, 10. That's a perfect time to fill an Argonaut for the last break of the night. What do you think? Yeah. Or Valiant or Ultimate. There's uh, Adbert Alzole for the Cubbies. That's a Cubs auto for Robert Grease. Nick Senzel. And we've got a Brendan Rogers, rated prospect autograph. Is he coming up soon? Rockies, Bill Anton. So. He's been prospect. Kind of blocked a little yeah. bit. Trevor Story, Nolan Aaron out on that side yeah. of the infield makes it tough. Bring the DH to the NL. I, I don't want that to happen, but I feel like it's. I have no choice. It's going to happen. There's Syndergaard, 76. We the people. We the people hold these I, I, truths I to be self-evident. I don't think it'll happen. You don't think it'll happen? Everyone seems to say it's going to happen. I guess they do want more offense, probably. Someone, I forgot who it was. If you're in the chat, remind me if you were the person that told me this. There, there was just like, why do you think the Padres signed Machado for 10 years? Yeah. Because they know that DH is going to happen in like... In the last four years. Or at least they'll be the one of the owners pushing for DH. Uh-huh. Until, yeah, like the last four years of his deal or whatever. Same with Harper. But he's a little bit older and he can't play shortstop anymore. Bryce Harper, too. Probably. Yep. Harper, too. Cindergard is going to be traded, really? You think they'll trade Cindergard? They don't like him, right? He's kind of a. I don't know, not yeah. A rat, but like kind of a loud mouth. I feel like. Uh, no, that was upside down. I feel like Brody Van Wagen isn't the type of guy to give up on the season. He's a new GM, right? Yep. Former age. I don't know why that was upside down, but. Is it the baseballs in the back, like fill in? Oh, no, they don't do the fill in the baseball in the back this oh, they year. they don't? Gonna make it kind of tough. That's how it's gonna sort. <laughs> Although yeah. some this this one will say prism and there's one that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, yeah. those are easy. Yeah, he had his first win at, ever at Wrigley Field. Yeah, what's up with that, Rex? He's been on the team for like two years. 
I know, I heard Trey. Congrats, man. I don't think anything for you in this one yet, though. You did get randomized the Orioles, though, in that team random. Charles Johnson. Remember the catcher, Charles Johnson? Significant signatures. No. And that's out of 99. Young Money saying, uh, Brody said he wasn't going to trade DeGrom or Noah Syndergaard yeah, the other day. Like but I'll believe it when the deadline passes. You can't believe any of GMs. It's no. like when Dave Gettleman of the Giants said, oh, we're not trading Odell Beckham. Yep. And then, like, two, two months later, they traded him. There's Jake Cave, autograph for the Twins. That goes to Ryan Redman. Do we like, uh, baseball fans, do we like the one trading deadline? So there's the non-waiver trading deadline that was traditionally at the end of July, and then at the end of August was the waiver trading deadline where the guys go through waivers and blah, 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 blah. This time there's just one. It's all rolled into one. I always got confused. Like, why are, yeah, that, they, I think how that, are they still trading? Yeah, they confused a lot of fans too. Yeah. So I think baseball wants to make it easy for like media and stuff. So what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do we like this? I do. I think it's great. But I wonder if that will actually limit trades. There's Whit Merrifield because maybe teams aren't ready to give up on the season yet. There's Ryan O'Hearn yeah, autograph. That second one never. Gilo and his Royals. They never. It's never blockbuster. Always the first trade deadline that's like kind of. Yeah. The big ones. Right, and the second ones are usually like money, money grab, money dumps or something yeah. like that. There's Dennis Santana, Ryan Capra with the Dodgers. High strikeout rate guy. He might find himself in the Dodgers bullpen or rotation maybe next year. Rex, do you know what's going on with the Cup Snakes in the Wrigley outfield? Yeah, Rex, fill us in on that. That's crazy. I didn't know. Oh, wow, there's the red ink autograph tray. We just we just looked at it. It's amazing. Congrats, man. You can use it. I'll get it. There's Austin Riley. Sweet. Just don't pull like a one on one now. <laughs> just don't pull like huge hit now. <laughs> There's Jonathan Loisiga. This looks like an autograph hot box. Another one. The Yankees. That goes to Eric Bailey. The Cub Snakes, Rex. You know, in the Cubs outfield, all the guys are stacking beer cups and to see how, how high it can go. The Cubs are like banning people. They fired one of the, this guy who is like a, whatchamacallit, a seat helper. I forget, an usher. He like went on this podcast and was talking about it. Then they fired him. It was just, it's, it's like madness. Why do the why do the Cubs hate fun, Rex? They're just banning, they're banning people from the stadium. They're removing people. You're never gonna get young kids into baseball with like <laughs> banning that kind of stuff in the stands. You never heard about that? Yeah, look it up. Yeah, I I like I actually saw the every time I see a Cubs game, it's because you know they do a lot of day games, so I get to watch some Cub games before I come to work. They're they're all I see kids in the outfield just <laughs> building building Cub yeah, snakes. No more. But no, no fun Cubs, I guess. I guess you start winning championships, and they're like they think they're the they're Yankees. All corporate. Yeah, they're all corporate. Shave the mustaches, no cup snakes. You know, be back. I'll bet they would have let you done it like ten years ago. Yeah. Ten when, years ago, when they are when the Cubs are just garbage. Hundred lost, lost team pre Theo Epstein. They would have let anything go just to get people in seats. Colby Allard for the Braves. Don Rab. That's a team right now. Yep, Colby Allard, team random spot. Couple Braves autographs already. Austin Riley, doesn't he have a ton of home runs? Ton of home runs. Outside Dark Horse candidate for Rookie of the Year. Three out of seven, Aaron Nola. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like some of these insert autos are stickers. Most of these are on card, nice. though. But nice. The Phillies ace, Scott V, last spot, Mojo Black and Gold. Wow. Nice. Three out of seven. That's nice. There you go, man. One of the lone Phillies bright spots. I know, yeah, that's, that's a rough. Although, what are, they, injured. what are they doing against my Dodgers right now? He's getting injured lately. You see Harper Freeze walking goes deep. off last night? Or two yeah, no, I heard about last it. Night? Dodgers up 4 2 in the top of the seventh in Philadelphia after a lengthy rain delay. Yeah, Mike Trout got hurt. Day to day. Oh, you don't like those those oblique strains could linger. Hate them. Just sit them for the season. That's what LeBron would do. He would just sit. Load management. Yeah. That's yeah, I don't cool. think anyone got hurt over it. I don't think anyone can get hurt if like a stack of cups fell on your I've, head. There's a 
conspiracy that it's to sell more beer. Because people are trying to do it more often, and then their cups get taken, and then they have to go buy another beer to try to do it again. Oh, yeah. Do you believe I, that? I, I, yeah, okay, okay, I can, I can see that. Their beer numbers have to go up. I don't know if that's true. So I think they just don't want it. There's there. Enel de los Santos. But yeah, I mean, the only, I mean, in all seriousness, it's probably, they're, they're probably thinking it's a safety issue, but I can't see the safety. Like, I guess a stack of cups falls into someone's eye and cuts their eye, and then they get sued for being blinded by a cup snake. There's Herman Marquez. All right. Nice autograph hot box. Ownership's just getting boring. And then Barstool Sports is selling t-shirts, and then they're banning the, the Barstool Sports. So Todd says, I was at the Cubs game last night. About three or four Cub Snakes and Shorber walk-off. It was great. Well, the Cubs organization don't like Cub Snakes, Todd, so. But then they let Addison Russell on the team. Shots fired. That's right. <laughs> So I guess we, we I guess we know where the Cubs organization stands. No, Daniel like Ponce de Leon, another Cardinal for Alfred, who got the Cardinals in a team random. I thought everyone in the bleachers was like salt of the earth. There, they're all just like, yeah, that's what we do out here. Who cares if we get a little beer spilled on us? No big deal. And then they had pictures at like Mississippi State College football game. It goes from the ground level to the suite level. Wow. One of them. It's like breaks Who stacks physics. it on top? It breaks science the, and physics. <laughs> Who stacks it, it on breaks, top? breaks science and physics. <laughs> yeah. Does not apply. Space and time does not matter when you're doing cup snakes. It's crazy. So once it gets that high, who's stacking the cups? Like the, the next row up? Is yeah, the next it? row up. So everyone just is complicit. They're like, I understand what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shall put a cup here. <laughs> and Got it's it. like those souvenir cups, so it's, it's really funny. Man, see if like I can find $12 a... <laughs> I know, right? Chance Adams. Souvenir cups are expensive. They the are. bleacher staff was serious about it, says Todd. Are they kicking people out? That's what I heard. That's the report we've been hearing. Todd Reardon, our, our Chicago Cubs correspondent, he's on boots on the ground in Chicago. Here at Jaspies, we'll give you all the breaking news. Another Michael Kopech. That goes to Michael K. Michael with Michael. Michael K with Michael K. Wow, they were kicking people out. Why do the Cubs hate fun, Todd? See, that's the Mississippi State one. If you look at the Nick Cam, wow. And it's, and it's what going. a snake. That's a great Cub snake. Well, you might as well get rid of the beach balls in the stands, too. I think Dodgers and Angels. Get, get rid of all, all the fun. Yeah. All right, we are flying through this break, folks. Two boxes to go, and then another optic pick your team. Because we've gone through this so fast, boys and girls, we may have an outside shot at... Well, let's put it this way. There's Ryan Baruki for Stacy and the Blue Jays. Um, if we fill the Argonauts, which, it, which requires an 8x10 to fill as well, if we fill Argonauts by the end of Optic 2, this is Optic 1, if we fill Argonauts by the end of Optic 2, I'll do it. Otherwise, we'll, we'll call it a night and we'll reconvene tomorrow. We've had a very long and exhausting day of nonstop big breaks. Oh, people are throwing cups? Because they're serious about winning, says Todd. I know. Todd, Nick and I were just saying that if this was 15 years ago, the Cubs organization would be like, yeah, we can totally have cup snakes. We got, let's get butts in seats to watch 90 lost teams. People are throwing cups, says Jeremy S. Well, that is that sounds like that's against the spirit of a cup snake. So, yeah, the people who are throwing cups, get them out of here. Something to do with trash? I mean, they just organized the trash for them, Rex. It's all in one big cup snake. There he is, Vlad Guerrero Jr. On card autograph for Stacy and the Blue Birds. This is a bird box. We've got two Blue Jays right there. A 
I never saw Bird Box, by the way. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Huge thanks to Nick for helping us with all the Ginter and all the Optic today. I think we probably did like an extra case or two because of his help. Thanks, man. Well, I think we'll have his help for the next break as well because this went flying. There's Miles Straw. Started with the Astro in the first box, closing with an Astro for EA. Miles Straw looking great as well. I mean, I can see where plate stacking could be dangerous, Trey. There's Griffin Candy. But you know, we're, talk we're talking about plastic cups. Oh, plates. Yeah, I, like actual plates at a restaurant. But yeah, I think you're right, Rex and Jeremy. It's probably people are throwing cups, ruining cup snakes for the rest of the stadium. Yeah. And it's probably just some liability. Yeah, like someone's going to pop out an eye. So oh, wow. Miles Straw and then Fernando Tatis. I didn't think we were going to get this, honestly. Brian Peebles. I was just like, well, we got the Vlad Jr. I'll bet we're not going to get a, a Fernando Tatis Jr. Like the but there he is. Rookies. Yeah. Rated prospect autograph right on the card. Fernando Tatis Jr. The very like this, last autograph so in the box. Yeah, we're out of Ginter for the time being, ladies and gentlemen, until later this week or early next week. So we've got plenty of time all this week to knock out all of this Donner's Optic Baseball like we just did now. In fact, let's do the auto recap in the same video. We started off with the Pete Rose. Look at the start. There's Tatis Jr., v Vlad, Toussaint, Aaron Nola, Allard, Loizaga. There's Eloy Jimenez, rated rookie autograph. Chris Paddock almost with a no-hitter today. Austin Riley, Jeff McNeil, starting off with Kyle Tucker. Very nice. That's the autograph recap. Obviously, we'll have all those top-loaded and all the parallels top sleeved and top-loaded both before they are sorted and they're shipped out to you. Thanks, everyone. Pick your team one in the books. Pick your team two coming up next.